again. Um, today I want to show you how to make creme anglaise. This is a vanilla custard sauce. It's pretty simple, um, but you really need to take your time. So back here on the stove, I have one and three fourths cup of whole milk and it's simmering and getting warm. Don't want it to boil over. And then for the main part, you're gonna take four egg yolks, um, a third of a cup of white sugar, a teaspoon of cornstarch, and then at the end, we're gonna add about two teaspoons of vanilla. So first you wanna separate your egg whites and your egg yolks, and there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, so, yeah, I've got my two bowls, okay. So, you can open your egg, and be careful, and hold two halves, and then you can kind of toss the egg yolk carefully back and forth between the two halves of the shell, and the whites will fall out. Um, but, what I like to do, and it's much more fun, although messy, is crack it directly into my hand, um, and the whites separate out beautifully. Of course, don't forget to wash your hands before you do this, um, but I find that to be the quickest and easiest way to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. So then I'm adding my sugar, um, I'm adding my cornstarch, and I'm going to beat this up really well, and it really matters that you beat this on high for two or three minutes. Um, it's going to be longer if you do it by hand. So you want it to change color. Um, so I've just started and it's still a little bright yellow and it's kind of plopping off of the beaters. But now I've cooked it for three minutes and you can see that it's become this really nice pale yellow color. And you can see that when I scrape it off off the bottom, it flows really nicely. This is called forming the ribbon. Um, and you want to wait until it looks like this before you add your milk. Okay, so my eggs and sugar are looking beautiful. I've got my warm milk and you want to add them, but you don't want to just dump the milk in because you'll just cook your eggs and have scrambled eggs. You want to slowly warm your yolks. So you can see I only added, what, a tablespoon of milk there for my first go round. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of it at a time to thin the yolks and to warm them up. And then once they get a little thinner, I can add it a little bit faster, but you're still not dumping. Um, so now you can see I'm just adding it in a little steady stream um, and mixing it well, making sure that everything is off the sides of the bowl. Um, this is one of my favorite desserts. My mother used to cook this for me when I was a little girl and serve it to me over sliced bananas. Um, and I was always so excited when we had a dessert night. Um, although you can put it on pretty much almost anything you can think of. It's just fabulous. So now I've got my milk all incorporated and beaten into the egg yolks. Now we're gonna pour it back in the pan because now it needs to thicken. So I'm gonna put it on the stove. I'm gonna get a wooden spoon and I'm gonna start stirring it. And you can see right now it's, it's fairly thin and it's bubbly. Um, so I'm still stirring and I'm cooking a little longer. You can see it's starting to thicken. If I push my finger there, you can see it's starting to make a line. But now, about five minutes later, uh, see that makes a beautiful line and it really holds its shape. So that's really what you're going for. And now it's basically finished. Um, you've got a nice thick custard sauce, but still runny enough to pour. You want to strain it through a sieve just in case there's any bits of egg or anything that thickened um, badly and was lumpy. Make a nice smooth sauce. So you're going to pour it through that sieve. You don't have to push it through or anything. Whatever pours through, pours through. And then we're going to add a little vanilla. Um, I like a lot of vanilla. So, oh wait, I got to take the top off. Okay, I'm so I'm eyeballing this, guys. Um, this is a four ounce bottle of vanilla, and I'm I might add like a third to a half of it because I like a really strong vanilla flavor. Um, but you can kind of do it to taste. Um, and that's it. You you want to let it cool down a little. You don't want to serve it hot. Um, serve it warm or cold. Um, but it's just delicious next to cake or on a fruit crumble or something. Um, so, yeah, see, I'm going to serve it on my apple cranberry crumble. Oh, that looks so good. All right, I'm going to go eat. Bye.